doing another video in light language. This one's on what it is like to actually shift into a fifth dimensional state of consciousness and <clears throat> different kind of things that happen when you are in a fifth dimensional fifth dimensional state of consciousness so the first thing is that your thoughts start to expand themselves and sometimes they will become synchronicities sometimes your thoughts will become things sometimes your words will be changed and you'll be able to pick up things around you from a perspective that is able to be each of the things that you focus your attention on at the same time. So as you shift your perspective, your perspective shifts to be on perspective itself. And then that in turn causes the perspective to be able to see all perspectives at the same time but you can't really you like it's the way that it's perceived is <clears throat> that it's you in a bunch of different places at one time but it's actually the consciousness that you're tapping into it's not you meaning your ego that's controlling this so you're not you're you're not the person who's like doing things it's like these things are being done through you at this point so another thing that happens is that you start to be able to um pull in information more from nature and from other things like um uh, energy fields that are produced through different things so honestly like you you'll be able to perceive more of like there's different frequencies that people or things or entities emit on and when some of them are tapped into <clears throat> they will free you from conditioned mind patterns and thoughts. Some of them will cause you to become a looping mind pattern, if that makes any sense. Like, you'll start to, uh, if you tune into the wrong things or take energy from the wrong things, then you'll be kind of sapped of your energy and kept in a vibrational frequency that is easily controllable. Um, if you don't, never mind. All right, but like basically, the whole thing that I'm trying to get to is that there are different things that happen to you when you shift your your by vibration and your awareness into a fifth dimensional state of consciousness. So another thing that happens is that you start to feel physically uh, different shifts in the vibrations around you. So as something is happening around you, you will start to be able to interpret your body feelings as guideposts or guidelines that show you which way to look in order to be able to find the answers to the mental questions that you have. And uh, those are shown to you via synchronicity of thought or telepathy. And basically um, through tapping into um, the field of awareness that sits as an observer 
of all of this activity because both you and the other person are emitting on the same wavelength behind the wavelength of your spoken voice so that wavelength can be tapped into and then things will be much e more easily understood uh, in conversations and even in uh, you understanding the things around you. You'll start to be able to visualize different scenarios in full three-dimensionality. <clears throat> You'll be able to uh, start to see, see like, say you're watching this video you'll be able to kind of visualize what it looks like all around me and what it looks like behind my head and all this other stuff. And uh, that comes from that fifth dimensional state of consciousness or awareness. And then one last thing is um, you'll start having to kind of ground your energy more often. So uh, because the human body needs specific nourishment in order to be able to uh, maintain a very high frequency. So the diet is very necessary and the grounding is very necessary. Otherwise, the energy is going to kind of pull up in different areas and start to uh, express itself through you in ways that you may not be able to control very well or may be unpleasant for you. So um, that's the thing. So uh, the next one is probably gonna be on um, ways to control that energy and start to move it into different areas in your body and also uh, more on the lower three chakras and how to control the energy there.